Abilities are one of the most important mechanics in Garden Warfare. Knowing how to use abilities, how often you can use them, and what your opponents can do with them will more often than not decide whether or not you win a gunfight. Put simply, if you don't know how abilities work, you're gonna get vanquished a lot. This video goes over any and all abilities that work similar to a character's primary weapon. I've calculated their duration, cooldown, ammo, rate of fire, DPS, and a bunch more. I've left timestamps in the description if you'd like to skip to any specific stat, as well as links to all my data if you'd like to view it yourself. I'd also recommend checking the comment section for any pinned comments, as I'll be using those to make any needed corrections or clarify anything I said. Feel free to also leave any suggestions you might have for future videos here. Most abilities have an ammo count already shown when they're in use. However, some either don't have any ammo counter at all, or have an ammo counter that shows incorrect numbers. Missile Madness, Peg Lake Kata, Ken Rodeo, Big Bolt Blaster, Bedazzled Bolt Blaster, Husk Op, P Gatling, Retro Gatling, Bling Gatling, Sunbeam, and Solar Flare Beam all have accurate ammo counters. Imkata has a shown ammo count of 100, but it only actually shoots 42 bullets throughout its duration. Blazing Blast has an incorrect ammo count of 30, However, it only has the ability to deal 10 instances of damage. Turbo Twister has the ability to deal 18 instances of damage throughout its duration. Parapal can fire 48 shots before overheating. Future Parapal can fire fewer shots at only 37. At absolute maximum, the Mega Awesome Laser can deal 48 instances of damage before ending. At maximum, our King Lotus can fire 4 times before ending. Both the Garlic Drone and Artichoke Drone can fire 30 shots before overheating. The Red Artichoke Drone can fire more shots at 50 before overheating. The Dark Hollow Drone has infinite ammo, and cannot overheat. Smoldering Madness can fire 221 shots while staying still, and 132 shots while moving. Most weapon abilities only last for a certain amount of time. Rooted abilities are the exceptions, as they only end if you run out of ammo or are counseled prematurely. Some abilities also run at faster when being actively fired or while moving. Missile Madness lasts for 5.6 seconds, 1.2 of those seconds being the time before it fires. Imkata lasts for 4.3 seconds. Pegled Kata lasts for 3.5 seconds. Turbo Twister lasts for 4.6 seconds. And Blaze and Blast lasts for 3 seconds. All drones last for 200 seconds. But while moving, the power drains 75% faster, only lasting 50 seconds. The Mega Awesome Laser will last for 20 seconds and not fired, but if fired, it will drain 67% faster, only lasting 6.7 seconds. Arcane Enigma lasts for 16.6 seconds, but will drain 60% faster while moving. It also takes 25% of its duration to fire. In comparison, Arcane Lotus doesn't drain any faster while moving, always taking 7.5 seconds to drain. Husk Cop takes 1.6 seconds to empty its clip, but its movement properties can last much longer, for about 2.2 seconds minimum. Smoldering Madness lasts for about 16.6 seconds, but while moving it drains 45% faster, lasting for about 9.3 seconds. Many abilities deal the same amount of damage regardless of range. Missile Madness does 10 damage at all ranges. Turbo Twister always does 2 damage per tick. The Future Parapel does 12 on a headshot and 10 on the body shot. Cannon Rodeo does 50 damage on a direct hit and 20 on splash. Arcane Enigma does 20 damage per shot. Huskop does 18 damage per shot. Although its shown damage numbers tend to be inconsistent with how much damage it is actually doing. The Dark Garlic Drone does 22 damage on a direct hit and 12 on splash. Blazing Blast does 20 damage per tick, although the in-game damage numbers say 15. The rest of the abilities have different damage depending on the range. At close range, Impicata does 3.7 damage on a headshot and 3 in a body shot. At medium range, it does 2.8 on a headshot and 2 in a body shot. Impicata only has a range of 33.5 meters, so it has no long range damage. Peg Lake Kata does 30 damage at close range and 20 at long and medium. Parapel does 9 damage at medium and close, but only 8 at long. Both Bolt Blasters deal 12 damage at medium and long, and 14 at close. The Mega Awesome Laser does 9 damage at medium and long, and 13 at close. P Gatling does 10 damage at long, 11 at medium, and 12 at close. Both Retro Gatlings deal 12 damage at medium and long, and 16 at close. Sunbeam does 10 damage at medium and close, and 8 at long. Solar Flare Beam does 12 damage at long, 13 at medium, and 14 at close. It also has a half second delay before it can fire. The Garlic Drone does 9 damage at medium and long, and 12 damage at close. The Artichoke Drone does 7 damage at medium and long, and 9 at close. The Red Artichoke Drone does 5 damage at medium and long, and 7 at close. 
Smoldering Madness does 7 damage at medium and close, and 6 at long. Missile Madness has a 20 second cooldown. Mkata, Arcane Enigma, and Arcane Lotus all have a 35 second cooldown. Peglade Kata, Cannon Rodeo, both Ball Blasters, Husk Cop, all Peak Gatlings, and both Sunbeams have a 30 second cooldown. Turbo Twister has a 25 second cooldown. All Drones have a 60 second cooldown. The Mega Awesome Laser has a 20 second cooldown. Blazing Blast has a 15 second cooldown. And Smolder Mattis has a 45 second cooldown. All rooted abilities will also not enter their cooldown if you don't fire any shots before cancelling them. Certain abilities will change how fast your character moves when activated. All rooted abilities obviously make you unable to move, but some other abilities increase or decrease your speed by a certain percentage. The Mega Awesome Laser and Blazing Blast both decrease your speed by 40%. Imkata and Pegleg Kata both decrease by 25%, Turbo Twister increases by 35%, and Arcane Lotus, Arcane Enigma, and Spouldering Madness all increase your speed by 10%. The Red Artichoke Drone is also 10% faster than Garlic Drone. Travel time is an arbitrary stat used for time to kill, but it also gives a general understanding of projectile speed. We'll leave the chart on screen for you to look over, but it's important to note that pirate drones actually have a faster projectile speed than cactus drones, so they'd likely be better at mid-air fights. Rate of fire is pretty simply how fast something shoots. You get rate of fire by dividing 1 by a weapon's attack interval and multiplying by 60, or dividing the ammo of a weapon by how long it takes to empty its clip. Missile Madness has a rate of fire of 275 rounds per minute. Mkata's is 600 rounds per minute. Pegley Kata and Turbo Twister both have 250 rounds per minute. Parrot Pal fires 370 rounds per minute. Future Parrot Pal and the Mega Awesome Laser both have 425 rounds per minute. Cannon Rodeo fires at 60 rounds per minute. Both Bolt Blasters fire at 750 rounds per minute. Art Can Enigma has a rate of fire of 65 rounds per minute. Husk Cop has a ridiculously high rate of fire of 1,800. Peak Gatling fires at 875 rounds per minute. Both Retro Gatlings fire at 450 rounds per minute. Both Sunbeams fire at 625 rounds per minute. The Garlic and Artichoke Drones both fire at 350 rounds per minute. The Red Artichoke Drone fires at 475 rounds per minute. The Dark Garlic Drone fires at 90 rounds per minute, Blazing Blast fires at 240 rounds per minute, and Smoldering Madness fires at 800 rounds per minute. Damage per second, or DPS, is the easiest way to measure just how much damage a weapon can really do. You get DPS for a certain range by multiplying the character's rounds per second by its damage number for that range. Missile Madness has a pretty disappointing 45.8 damage per second, Ibkata has an expected low DPS, as it's usually only used for finishing enemies off. Pegleg Kata is interesting. It fires in four different directions, one after the other. This means its rate of fire is divided by four for any calculations involving its damage output. It has a DPS of 20.8 at long, and 31.25 at close. Turbotoaster has a very low DPS of 8.3, which is to be expected considering just how little damage it deals in-game. Parrot Pal deals 49.3 damage per second at long range, and 55.5 DPS at medium and close. Future Parrot Pal does significantly more with a DPS at 85 at all ranges. Cannon Rodeo has a DPS of 50 at all ranges, its splash DPS is 20. Both Bolt Blasters have a medium and long DPS of 150, and a close range DPS of 175. The Mega Awesome Laser has a long and medium DPS of 63.75, and a close range DPS of 92.08. Arikin Enigma has a DPS of 21.66. Husk Cop has a DPS of 540, because balance isn't exactly Popcap's strong suit. P. Gelling has a long range DPS of 145, a medium DPS of 160.4, and a close range DPS of 175. Both Retro Gatlings have a significantly lower DPS, with 98 long and 120 at close. Sunbeam has a long range DPS of 83.33, and a medium and close range DPS of 104.2. Solar Flare Beam has a significantly higher DPS, with 125 at long, 135.4 at medium, and 145.8 at close. Garlic Drone has a long and medium DPS of 52.5, and a close DPS of 70. Both Artichoke Drones have lower DPSs. 
Artichoke has a long DPS of 40.83 and a close DPS of 52.5. Red has a long DPS of 39.58 and a close DPS of 55.42. Dark Golic also has a significantly lower DPS with 33 at all ranges and 18 on Splash. Blazing Blast has a decent DPS at 80 at close range. Smoldering Madness has a long and medium DPS of 80 and a close range DPS of 93.33. Time to kill is the most accurate way to measure just how good certain weapons are in certain situations. You get time to kill by multiplying characters' attack interval by one less than the amount of shots needed to get a specific vanquish, and then adding any other needed parts like travel time and reloads. I actually made two separate tracks for the zombies and plant abilities, as I have to worry about different health pools. I also have not done the time to kill for Spoldering Madness, as I'll be doing that in my Torchwood video. Missile Madness actually lacks the ammo to kill Torchwood, so it's time to kill for 275 and 550 is not applicable. Impkata is also unable to kill any plants with more than 150 health at close and 110 at medium. Peglekata is unable to kill any plants that are undamaged, as it lacks the ammo. Turbo Twister cannot kill any plants at full health, as it lacks the duration. At all ranges, the future Parrot Pal clearly beats out the default drone. Parrot Pal also beats Gullet Drone at long and medium, but Gullet Drone is much better at close range. Both Artichokes are worse than Garlic Drone, with normal Artichoke being better than Red at long and medium. They're mostly the same at close, however. The Dark Garlic Drone is much worse than all other drones at damage output. Ken Rodeo cannot kill a Leaf Shield Torchwood, as it lacks the ammo. P-Galling and both Bullet Blasters are relatively equal at most ranges. However, both Bullet Blasters and P-Galling are better than both Retro Gatlings. Arcane Enigma is unable to kill any undamaged zombies with a health higher than 80 due to its lack of uses. Husk Hop can kill some enemies so fast that they will actually be unable to react to the fact that they've taken damage before they've died. So a Flare Beam is frequently beat out by Sunbeam due to its long trigger delay. It'll be much better suited for taking out higher health targets like Zemex, however. Many weapon abilities, especially those added post-launch with Garden Warfare 2, lack any info in their damage outputs. Most abilities have damage outputs that reflect most people's general opinion, such as Pressure Gatling being much worse than P Gatling. Other abilities, however, have a much different impression on me now. Solar Flare's long delay makes it have a much worse time to kill than Sunbeam most of the time, and Missile Madness has a much lower damage output than expected. I'll be doing Imps and Mechs next, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified when that'll happen. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.